welcome to my channel and if you've been here before welcome back thank you for joining um so yeah this is my little platform where i turn struggling math students into math masters i post videos tuesdays and thursdays so subscribe and turn on the notification button if you want to know when i post any new videos so um also if you are interested in my revision class that i host just before the june exams the november exams um, and the mock exams feel free to just email me to maths monkey help or one word maths monkey help at gmail.com um, and in the description of the email just write revision lesson and i will send you all the details um, about that right so in this video we are going to be looking at higher purchase so i'm going to explain to you what higher purchase actually is and then all the possible calculations that goes with higher purchase right so without further ado let's do this <laughs> okay so in this video i'm going to be showing you um how to work with higher purchase okay so this is the fifth finance lesson that i've uploaded on this channel and yeah we can get started um essentially before we start i would like for you to understand what higher purchase actually is and i'll read this definition to you quickly it says higher purchase involves taking an item home and agreeing to pay it off okay so i like to explain the words like this to my students like higher purchase means i buy something but i take it home before i actually paid it off so while i'm busy paying it off i'm hiring it and then purchase means at the end, once I've actually paid it all off, I've then purchased it and then it's mine. So higher purchase then involves the whole process of taking something home, paying it off, and then um, owning it after everything has been paid off. Right. And this specific uh, section, higher purchase, is uh, includes um, simple interest. So there's no compound interest used in this. Uh, if you're not sure how simple interest works, I have created a video um, on simple interest and compound interest that you can have a look at. Okay, so now that we understand what higher purchase is, we're going to be looking at, and the way I want to explain this is, this can be really asked in many different ways. And I, the approach I'm taking to explain this is, I'm going to show you the entire process, right? And then depending on where in a test or an exam they ask you a question, you will then just stop at that specific point in the process. Okay, so let's just jump in. Right, so let's look at this example. So it says here, a couch suite costs 16,500 Rand cash. Okay, but if it's bought on higher purchase, a deposit of 15,000 is required and an interest rate of 8% is calculated on the outstanding balance. The repayment period is two years. Calculate the monthly installments and the total repayment. Now, there's lots of things going on in this question, so I'm going to break it down for you. So firstly, if I had the cash for this set of couches, it would cost me 16500 So if I gave the shop 16500 in cash, they would have given me the couch. In most cases, we don't have this total amount of money, so we will opt with a higher purchase process, right? Now, in order for you to sort of secure the couch, you will need to put down some money to as sort of your commitment to paying the rest off, right? And that would be considered your deposit. So in this example, 15% of the cash price you have to put down and give them um, before you leave and actually take the couch, right? So that would be considered your um, deposit. Then your interest rate. So whatever is left that you owe, right, is going to be charged interest. So you're going to have to owe, pay that money plus extra, right? And that 8%, like I mentioned in the definition, is simple interest, right? So it's going to be the same every year is calculated on the outstanding balance. So in other words, how much you still owe after you've paid the deposit. 
then the repayment period is two years. So this means that you're going to be paying off every single month for the next two years. So you're actually going to make uh, 24 payments, right? So the question wants to know, calculate the monthly installment. So what should you pay the shop every single month for the next two years to make sure that you've paid the couches off? And then what is the total repayment? In other words, how much money um, in total has left your pocket for this actual, for the specific couch? Okay, so this is sort of like, this question is really like a high level question because there's a lot of sub calculations that you have to take place. But sometimes they will break those sub sections down into sort of uh, smaller questions. But I'm going to show you the entire process. So where do we start? You will start, start it with the scenario in your head. So when before you can even take the couch, you have to calculate how much cash must you put out, right? So you're going to calculate the deposit. So the deposit is then going to be 15% of the cash price, which in this case is 2,475. Okay, so once, so, so this is how much cash you're putting down. Now we want to find out, okay, but how much do we then owe after that, right? So the balance owing after the deposit will obviously be the 16,500 minus your deposit. And this is actually 14,025 Rand is actually how much you owe at the point where you're leaving that day um, with the couch. Okay, so you owe this amount. However, this amount is going to be earning simple interest. Okay, so we're going to have to calculate what is the actual interest that, this person, that you also have to pay off within the next two years. So to calculate the interest, you are going to calculate, now I'm going to go through this slowly, you are going to calculate 8%, right, which is the interest percentage they give you in the question, times whatever it is that you owe. So not the original cash price, you put down 2475 so you shouldn't be charged interest on a amount you've already paid. You only get charged on the outstanding amount, okay? So the, what's left would be then the 14025 and that's what you're going to be charged interest on. Now, if you remember with simple interest, this percentage value is going to be exactly the same each year. So this total without the times two is the interest for one year. And then if we multiply it by two, this will be how much interest we need to pay over the two years. Now, the two important values. So essentially when I leave the shop, I owe this amount and plus the interest amount in total, right? So I then, as I leave, actually owe the shop 16,269 rand. Okay. Now, okay, so if this is how much I owe, then I obviously have to pay this amount off every single month for the next two years. So if I want to calculate my monthly installments, I'm just going to take this value divided by the 24, and I have to pay the shop 677 rand and 88 cents per month. Okay, so this is then my monthly installment, which is the first part of my question. But the second part of the question says, what is the total repayment? So in other words, what is all the money that has left your account and actually had to be paid for this couch? So how do we do this calculation? Obviously, the 2475, remember, was the deposit that you initially paid. Then we said before you leave the shop, you owed the balance amount plus the interest. So it's the 16269. So in total, after the two years, you pay the deposit and your installments will then mean that you actually paid 18,744 rand for this specific couch. Okay, so see that the original value would have if I had had the cash, I'd pay sixteen thousand five hundred. But I actually have to pay. I actually end up paying a lot more because I've had to pay this couch off. 
Okay, now guys, this is the entire eye purchase process. Okay, so you will be asked in an exam at any point in time, let's say they ask, okay, what's the deposit? Then you would have stopped at step number two. Or if they ask you calculate the interest, you would have stopped at step number three. But if they ask you to calculate the total installment, you would have stopped here and not actually include the total repayment. So it's important for you to sort of understand the entire concept so that no matter how they phrase the question, you can then just use the structure to answer it. Okay, so let's look at how they give you the information in a different way. So let's say um, they've already calculated the installment. You know, what would a question like that look like? So let's look at this example. It says here, a painting costs 13,500 Rand cash, right? It is purchased on higher purchase with a required deposit of 1,300, right? The installments are then 350 Rand per month over five years. So take note here, they've already calculated the installment. So you're not required to do that calculation. Okay. So let's see what do they actually want us to know. What are the possible questions they can ask you? So firstly, the first one is they can ask you, calculate the balance after the deposit. Right? So how much do you owe once you've put the deposit down? So that's a simple calculation. It would be 13,500. You will subtract the 1,300, which was your deposit. And it would mean that um, when you leave, the actual amount that you owe for the couch without the interest is then the 12,200. Okay, simple. Next question is, will the interest be charged on the 13,500 or on the 12,200? Now, remember in the previous example, I told you, you can't be charged interest on something you've already paid in, right? So, you won't be charged interest on the entire amount. You're only going to be charged interest on the balance. So the answer here will be you will be charged interest on the balance of 12,200. Okay, next one. Calculate the total cost of the painting on higher purchase. Now remember we said the total cost is all the money that leaves your pocket in order to pay for this. So this is going to be your 1,300 which is your deposit plus the 360 which you're paying for every month and you are paying it for five times 12 months because it's five years and you're paying it every single month within those five years okay so it's five multiplied by 12 this will be your 60 so you're making 60 payments of 360 over the five years plus your 1300 so your total cost for this specific painting will then be 22,900 okay last one so what was the total interest paid? Okay, now remember, your interest, they calculated on the amount that you owed, you know, after your deposit. So if you ended up paying 22,900, right, then you are going to take this value, which is, right, you're going to take this value here, which is the installments you paid every month, right? You're not including the interest now. You're going to take this value, right? Is how much you've paid every single month the last five months uh, five years sorry and you're going to subtract how much you owed when you left because this is actually where they calculated the interest on and then your answer would then be the 9400 so your total interest that you paid for this painting will be your monthly installment minus what you owed after your deposit which is the 9,400. Okay, if this confuses you, I'd say rewind, work through this example again, work through the previous example, and then also if you can, try and answer the questions in the video before you actually see the answers, before the answers actually show, to see if you are actually able to calculate or know what it is that you need to calculate yourself. Okay, all right, so, that is essentially how higher purchase works and uh, the thing that you must remember here is again higher purchase only works with simple interest and depending on where in the whole process they ask a question will determine where you actually stop doing your calculations okay right that's all for this video thank you
So that's that video. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And yeah, if you have questions about this topic, add it in the comment section. Any recommendations for future videos, also add it in the comment section. And again, if you are interested in the revision class, email me to mathsmonkeyhelp at gmail.com and I'll give you all the information that you need. So thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.